As Nigeria works towards building a market outside its dominant oil industry, the beauty and skincare industry appears to be gaining more attention. Blondie Okuso makes bath candy, a handcrafted food inspired bath and body store in Nigeria. The skincare range is made from natural and organic ingredients that target common skin problems. Blondie Opuza makes what she calls birthday cake soaps at her beauty store in Lagos, Nigeria. She is the founder and chief executive of Bath Candy, a cosmetics line that makes food-inspired bath and body products like soaps, scrubs, polishes, scented oils and home fragrances, among others. Blondie's products are all made by hand and purpose to look and smell like desserts. Blondie, who studied business management and sociology in the U.S., started her business in 2014, about three years after moving back home. With an initial investment of about 9,800 U.S. dollars mopped up from her savings and contributions from family members, she took on entrepreneurship. I think people love things that look good. So, I mean, we're in Nigeria, so there's... A lot of people are doing natural products and I just think generally the population were moving towards natural things so it was a function of how do you stand out and these are the things that I personally like so it's really just a reflection of me. The beauty and skincare industry has been described as a fast-growing business sector in the country and is highly competitive. In 2016, the sector was valued at 620 million US dollars, according to Euromonitor International, a global market intelligence publisher. With a population of 170 million people, Bath Candy is part of a new wave of startups that are finding opportunities to market products in Africa's most populous country. Doing business in Nigeria comes with unique challenges. We manufacture everything here you need power. So if you're running your generator 24 hours, that's a bit of a challenge, right? Um, another issue that we faced was um, employment and staffing. I think we're good now, but it took a while for us to get to a place where we were okay and comfortable with what we had. Um, another thing would be Forex. Thankfully, the exchange rate is coming down, so it's, it's you know, better, but packaging, I think, has been the one consistent issue we've had all through. I got to know about Bath Candy two years ago through a particular company, and I first bought their soap, their Gary Scrub soap, and it was a very nice experience. It had a very wonderful scent. It was affordable, and, you know, it left my skin not dry. It was oily, and so I enjoyed the experience, and since then I've been buying their soaps, I've been buying their oils as well. I use their oil for my hair and my body. And their polish is also nice. So it's always w wonderful to come back and buy their product. Bath Candy's founders are working in plans to further expand the business and take it beyond Nigeria. And that's our program today. Many thanks for watching. I am BC Adebayo.